Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. My name is Mel. Today we're gonna be doing my makeup with the newest products I got during the Sephora sale. If you haven't checked it out, I made a video about what I got during the sale. Today is just a try on, so just like a first impression kind of video. I have already tried a few things because time has passed since I last made that video. I couldn't wait to get my hands on these products so I already tested a few things and I will be able to give you my opinion on a few things but the majority of this I haven't touched so let's do that together today let's start by applying a sort of primer I use this Madagascar Centella Ampoule this is not on Sephora it is a product from Yes Style it is a K-beauty or C-beauty I'm not sure where it comes from but I love this it doesn't seem like I've used this a lot but I can tell you I've been using this for a few months now I'm not sure how it hasn't gone down this is the perfect primer for me as a girl with dry skin it really hydrates plumps and it also leaves like a, a de adhesive layer for my foundation to go on it doesn't feel sticky but it is like the perfect base and what I do is just unload <laughs> sounds weird on my face and if you are interested in trying this out, and I highly recommend you do so, you can check out... I am dripping everywhere. You can check this out on ESStyle and you can use my code, which is MELS00 for a discount. I do get a commission if you shop with that, but you're not, you don't have to use it. But uh, really, like, I don't do my makeup anymore without this. When I went to Italy and I didn't bring this with me because I think it's like a lot, yeah, it's 100 milliliters. I didn't want to take this with me, it's glass. So I didn't want to risk it breaking on me. And I just noticed the difference in my base. And yeah, as you can see, very hydrated, very plump, but it's not the same as using um, a moisturizer. I don't know what, it's just, 100% uh, centella so now that my primer is done i today we're going with um made the maybelline super stay skin tint just to balance things out i'm using a lot of products so from sephora so <laughs> here's something from the drugstore honestly though this is pricey even though it's from the drugstore don't know what's happening but that's that's crazy i love this foundation uh, this is my second bottle of it. I immediately repurchased it when I noticed that I was running low. Yeah, it's. I think that it's a bit more coveragey than a traditional skin tint, and it leaves like a luminous finish but not shiny metallic and since again i am dry i have a dry complexion it really does wonders for my face so you can see here on this unwelcome guest it does cover redness a bit it doesn't like 100% cover it. I'm also gonna use this on my lid as a base for my eyeshadow. I also did my brows off camera, so let's start with the first product. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Creamy Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Natural Brown. I have already used this a bit as you can see because I wanted to test the longevity. I have to say I don't really have an opinion about that yet because I did have a lot of shimmer on so it basically covered everything I did with the mattes. These two shades to create some depth. Since this is a cream product I am not afraid of any fallout so the shades are very very pale i don't know if these would show up on somebody who has a deeper complexion because you can see how soft that is for me and i think you need a few layers for the product to lay out completely but even then again it's very soft which works for me but you know you make your judgment based on what your complexion is so these are creams which means they may be harder or easier to blend based on your experience with makeup i am a makeup artist and um, i'm used to 
trying out different formulas and working with them but if you're not as experienced you may just find difficulty blending especially the shades that are deeper and then don't blend in naturally with your skin tone i'm going with a deeper shade so the thing about this palette is a lot of people are criticizing it one for the pigment two for the lasting power and three for the creasing i haven't had any creasing when i use this but again i don't normally have issues with that with my eyeshadow yeah so you can see how soft this is and like here on camera it appears like i haven't blended it well but i have like i can see it in the mirror just not doing so on camera which i noticed is kind of normal with creamy products i think that they are harder to make look nice on camera but yeah these shades are very very natural on me and then i will grab like a denser a short brush like this it's Thin but dense and I will pick up this brown here so using a denser brush you can achieve more pigment so that's how I've been using it and I deposit it directly where I want that shadow so these blend easily into themselves which is a pro and a con at the same time because basically they get mixed so well that the brown gets some softness and gets more pale because it is mixing with shades that are lighter so it's not like a, a powder where you just place it and it stays the same intensity honestly i like this but again you have to know this when buying this like if you're expecting a super pigmented eyeshadow palette and that BA is like a powder eyeshadow that's not it and I'm also going into the even deeper brown I never use this let's see no it seems to be a deep a deep brown I like this shade a lot actually it's very hard to find like highliners as well as mascaras I notice that are like visibly brown and not black you know you know what i mean sometimes they just look similar and i'm using again that blending brush and just going over everything <laughs> because that's a thing you can do pretty easily with creams so you can see how soft this is even though it was intense at first i will go into this orange shimmer <laughs> honestly i don't know what they were going for with this i do feel like maybe they went for like a a space cowboy vibe that one also has a warm base with sparkles or not i don't know it's very soft so it doesn't read like immediately orange which is good for me yeah so it's a, it's a very soft shimmer with a warmer base i honestly i like this for every day it isn't the most groundbreaking eyeshadow palette on the market and so i can understand why people are rating this negatively negatively especially if they, it's not lasting on them or if it's creasing but on me it isn't inner corner with the white shimmer shade okay that's really pretty actually didn't expect it to show up but it did i like this um let's see if i can i don't know if i can use a liner with this formula my tiny mega forever liner in black yeah no issues well actually the fact that it's a cream makes it pop even more i effed up a little bit but it's fine i'm not going anywhere today let me know in the comments what you think about this look i honestly think it's perfect to use like on a effortless i'm going fast have to go type of look not really recommend this if it only feels like it works for me and i haven't seen it work for other people so but yeah beware so i have to decide what i want to use next because i have kind of few a lot of products in the same category i think uh well first of all let's go with some bronzer i'm using the 
Phytosurgeon Spectral Sunlight Cream Bronzer in the shade 2, Rosy Daybreak. Guys, I love the shade of this. Well, you can see how much I use this. I love the shade. It's perfect. The fact that it, they have both golden and, like, golden and rosy shades. So it's perfect if you are cool toned. You can have a bronzer too that doesn't look orange. But I, honestly, I, I have a hard time grabbing the product because it does that like it's it's a hard cream so you really have to move it around a lot okay that's it for the bronzer just quick fast I don't want to use too much for the blush I will be using both a cream blush and a powder blush so this is a new shade I got from the Sephora sale of the soft pinch Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Bliss. I will use this like here, higher on my cheeks. That looks super bright, like this. And then I will use the Labs House Labs brush. Blush. I will use the House Labs blush. Oh my God. Um, in the center of my cheeks. There's nothing really I have to say about this product. I do like it. That's why I got another shade. I just feel like sometimes with the wrong brush it can look a bit patchy so i always have to be careful which brush i'm choosing i don't know why i haven't heard anyone have the same struggle honestly though this shade this bliss shade it's it's a bit more coral than i expected i thought it was more like a muted pink from the swatches but it's actually kind of bright i mean i like it it's just not what i thought i'm cleaning my brush with the sigma switch and now i go over this pomelo peach blush from house labs and what i've been doing lately is place blush here for like a cutesy look they seem to go pretty well together uh don't mind this i will dump it down but they seem to be literally made for each other <laughs> so i can keep going with this and it will be brighter and brighter but i don't want it to be too bright so what i'll do is grab my foundation sponge and i'll just fix the edges soften the edges so that there are no like patches of blush i hate when that happens and this is the blushy look i have quite a few options for my lips so we have a balm we have a sunscreen balm a gel and a lipstick so what i'll do is go in with this liner that i got during the sale it's the sephora rouge gel lip liner in the shade <laughs> dress to the 90s i already said this in my haul video this formula is a gel it stays satin on the lips and i also feel like it moves really fast it's not, it doesn't like set so keep that in mind but i on overall i really like the shades they have so this is a like a brown a pinky brown shade i really like it it is a bit cool tone which makes sense because it's uh, inspired by the 90s and now well, actually, before I move on, let me order groceries. <laughs> let me order groceries because otherwise they take too long and I want to have them ready when I finish this video. So for lips, I think I want to go with the Westman Atelier lipstick. I tried this on yesterday before removing my makeup because it's a thing that people do. This is in the shade PK, by the way. This song formula is weird, like it's super moussey and it feels like you have powder on your lips. It moves around a lot if you move your lips, but it's very comfortable. It's not like a matte drying formula. It also seems to pair really well with the lip liner. It smells like something. Don't know what though. Like cocoa powder? Does it make sense? Let's see if I do this. It's, I feel it moving, it's not like it really sets, but at least you have a comfortable lipstick. I was almost forgetting, uh, but where is my brush? I do also have from Dior the Forever Glow Star Filter in the shade 0 and I want to use this as an highlighter. I could have used this as a foundation today, 
I did not think about that. I'm picking up a brush and I, I will just like dab this on. And then I will pat it in with my fingers because I did have a powder underneath. So I want to make sure I'm not disrupting anything. But you can see how glowy that is. But it looks like a, a natural type of glow instead of a traditional like highlighter. And I'm also using a bit on my nose. Why not? This is fragrance, like heavily fragrance, but it's a very nice smell. Uh, I honestly, it smells like a Dior perfume. Perfume? Don't know how you pronounce that, but yeah, that is it. This is the finished look with all the products I got from the Sephora sale. Well, not everything, uh, but a lot of products. Honestly, I'll give you the first, my impressions as we go, so I don't think that there's a need for a roundup. I'm pretty satisfied with everything I got, even, it, even the eyeshadow palette. I think it looks beautiful. It doesn't lean like warm, even though that shimmer it was warm, it is not doing that. It's almost bringing out the gold in my eyes. I, I'm hesitant to say, but I really like it. I hope I won't get crucified for that. <laughs> but that's my opinion. It works for me. And hopefully if you have it, it will work for you too. Let me know in the comments if you got any of this or in general what you got from the Sephora sale, if you got anything. I love hearing about what other people get in their holes and please if you've reached this point and you're watching this you might as well subscribe it's free and it really helps me and my channel so that it will be promoted by the youtube gods a bit more i would really appreciate it but without further ado i will leave you to the rest of your day and hopefully it's a good one bye